Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are opening this piggy box. It is a subscription box, and I will be reviewing it. We're gonna go ahead and open this. And first thing we have is a card. And it's really cool. I actually really like this. The background, the front, it's a house, it opens. There's a lot in there, so I'm not gonna read it uh, right now. And we have tissue paper. Whoa, there's a lot in there. Okay. So this is what the inside looks like. Don't have the best lighting in here, but yeah. So first off, we have some boredom breakers. Uh, I believe these are vegetable dyed uh, chews. Uh, for rabbits, hamsters, and other rodents, not only enjoy these actually benefit from their from being able to gnaw wood. They're made out of safe wood and are ideal for pets. Blah blah. Uh, by the way, this subscription box is based in the UK, and I am in southern US. So, <laughs> and then we have some beautiful forage. Um, uh, midsummer bowl, a complimentary feed for your rodents and rabbits. 100% edible treat for small animals, uh, has palm leaf, dill stalks, parsley stalks, uh, chervil stalks, hibiscus flowers, sunflower, blue mallow, rose flowers, and corn flowers. So, yeah. This is cool. I like this. I like the container it's in. It's like literally a bowl. I'm gonna bring out the big thing last. Okay, then we got this thing. This right here, uh, if your guinea pig chews through like let's say half of this and maybe a little bit over here, like they try to go into it and they can get stuck. But if you just like, you know, monitor them with these types of things, like, it'll be okay, but, uh, mine have never tried to go in them, but I will monitor them with that, but this is really cool, I like the design of it, I don't know what this is made out of, willow ball, uh, whoa, irresistible nibble chew, yep, warning, supervision is recommended with this product, it, yeah, as I was saying, they will chew through it and then get stuck because they're silly and love getting stuck, apparently. Um, okay, next we have more forage. English garden salad. Um, what is in here? I don't think it's... Okay, maybe it does. Yeah. Dandelion leaf, alfalfa, parsley stalks, rose flowers, marigold flowers... I can't pronounce that next flower, <laughs> and uh, another flower I can't pronounce because yeah, I, I'm not good at words. And then lastly, we have the big thing. This is a giant cake. I might save this for one of mine's like birthday. Uh, Rosewood's natural celebration cake. Yeah, we don't have this here at all. The only thing of this brand that we have is uh, compacted hay bales in the forage. And I believe it's something else, but it's like not safe. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool. I'll definitely be saying this for, for a birthday. I uh, just don't know when the next one is. I believe September or something. And uh, I might be too late then, though. Ooh, it's really cool looking. I don't know what's all in it. Hold on. There's so much loose stuff. Uh, it has carrot, vegetable starch, mm. uh, coconut. I don't know if they can have coconut. Um, pea flakes, parsley, oat herb, alfalfa, wheat herb Ooh. has it says it has seeds I'm not too sure about this 
nettle, rose blossoms, marigold blossoms, melissa, buckwheat, uh, dandelion, meadow hay, peppermint, hemp seed, linseed, fennel seed, peppers. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. It has a lot of seeds. I'm not sure if this is really a guinea pig thing. I believe that's fennel right there. Uh, I'll look into this one more, but um, yeah. Okay, so this one, maybe. These forages are good. So these are good. If this is vegetable dyed, these are good. I don't know if they are though. It is the Rosewood brand. Um, yeah, it doesn't specify if it's uh, dyed with vegetables. So. I don't know. I don't think it is, but who knows? And then this is obviously like supervision. So good, maybe lacking details. This one I'm not sure about. And then obviously this is it. It has a warning. It's just really small. I could barely read it. Um, yeah, so, so I would give this a two star. The forage is great, but I'm worried about this. Okay, maybe like a three star, but yeah, I don't like this doesn't specify if it's dyed with vegetables or not this has seeds in it this might be good for other animals not guinea pigs but it's called a piggy box so if you give this to like a new owner and they see like oh it's got seeds in it, that means they can have seed no it, you don't want them thinking that this just needs supervision i personally wouldn't like sell this if it needs supervision because there's people who are not going to supervise it so Forage good. These three, bad-ish, I guess. I just, I wouldn't. So, yeah, I would say, like, two and a half stars. But it's not bad. It, I wouldn't recommend this, per se. But, you know, if I were to buy this again, maybe there's different uh, things in it. You know, maybe it varies. But, yeah. Good. Eh. Don't know. Eh. <laughs> and this was like 40 bucks yeah this is 40 bucks we got something big something small small decent there's five items for 40 bucks i don't know how much like all this would be i would say this would be like four like three or four this would probably be like four here uh forage might be like five to eight dollars each and then this i this might be like 13 here uh is it worth the money i don't know but it's not horrible i got some stuff so <laughs> i i personally would not recommend this box but uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video